Oh, hi there. It's, uh, what is it? It's Monday night. This is from a few days ago. This was a real balanced match. I like this one. Uh, I tend to post balanced matches. I, I guess I could get on here and post matches where I just basically rolled over everybody in my path. It does happen once in a while, but that tends to be on matches that aren't quite so balanced, I guess you could say. And as, fun it is, as fun as it is to watch me just killing people left and right, uh, that's not really what I play the game for, for the most part. I'm looking for, a, I'm looking for more of a challenge. You get on here with some of these better players, and you don't you don't often do all that well. Because uh, there's a, a lot of the people that play this game have been playing it for a while, and they pretty much know what they're doing. On this on this on this game, the teams were pretty evenly matched. Um, we did dominate through much of it, but towards the end. Blue started coming back pretty pretty seriously, and if they had, had a little more a little more time, they might have actually gone somewhere. I don't know if someone joined on their team in the middle of the in the middle of the match or what happened, but but yeah, that's kind of the way it went. I've got the ore. Of course, I also like that we have the uh, the axon weapons here because they're always the underdogs, you know, the Scorpion, uh, the Mantas, and, uh, the common wisdom is always that the, uh, the Necros weapons are more powerful, but it doesn't, it, it's, it's fairly often that you find that it doesn't work out that way. Oh yeah, I was thinking here, on this part of the map, you've got that turret over there next to the center. You've got these scorpions, which it's a good idea to keep a scorpion up here to defend against all the vipers that are going to be in there. And that turret there is very important because you can use him to take down the tank if the enemy gets hold of the tank. Because the tank is going to come, come from that direction and that turret has a straight shot at him all the way in. Long before he can hit you. You do have to watch out for snipers because the turrets are vulnerable to snipers and there are sniper rifles here and there. There's a sniper rifle not too far away from those turrets and uh, it's probably there was probably some thought that went into the placement and once in a while you'll get a player that will grab that sniper rifle and just kill anybody who gets into one of those turrets and that can actually turn the game around. This is the kind of thing you have to watch out for but most of the time there aren't that many people that snipe all that way. You get them. You get them once in a while. Attack the east node. If no one's sniping, then the turret's gonna dominate. If you got someone sniping, then it's a good idea to have somebody taking care of the sniper. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of what goes into these games uh, kind of comes Round down to uh, who's aware of what's going on and uh, how far they get how they how far they get doing something about it. In this case, there's. In this case, all that's really going on is that we're we're pretty much dominating, and we need to keep moving the orb forward until we uh, until we uh, get a handle on Prime and win the game. And we've already done a lot of damage to the core, and we're getting ready to do some more. Well, that's not an example of what you should be doing. It's, it's pretty easy on this game to get used to just, you know, going balls out and going forward as fast as you can and getting killed a lot because, you know, you know you're just going to come back two seconds later. I try to resist that. I fall, you know, I, I tend to make that mistake as much as anyone does. And, but, you know, you should try to stay alive long enough to do something, you know, useful instead of uh, just dying like that right there. So you can see even here they are they are putting up some resistance. I've got the ore. And I'm not sure why I grabbed the Dark Walker. I really don't like the Dark Walker. I'm not that good in it. In this case I decided I'd better uh, skulk along the stay low to the ground, you know. Maybe the vipers won't notice me if I'm low to the ground, but uh I will manage to get up here and take out a sniper. There's always a, like a lot of the games I've been in here lately, there, there always tends to be a sniper up in that tower, so I took him out right away. 
I'm gonna manage to get some of these uh, blue vehicles skulking about their prime. We've got their prime. We're doing more damage on their core. They're down to 19 Blue points. I think we'll get them secure. down to two points Attack before this is over with. And then they'll actually hold us off until overtime and time out. And there's their nemesis sitting by their core. I'm amazed I never got around to shooting at him, but I ended up having to bail out of that thing before I died and then died anyway, so. I was doing okay up to that point, I guess. Grab the shape charge. So anyway, having died, I usually like to go back here and bring one of these scorpions forward. If the scorpions are available, I feel like they need to be up at play. You need to at least have one here at center if uh, Blue takes their prime back so you can defend against the vipers that are going to come in. Blue doesn't have their prime, so I'm going to take it back here and uh, try to use it for something like, oh, taking this node back. Just to make sure uh, Blue doesn't get that tank. Any avalanche match, the if the other team knows what they're doing, they're gonna try to get hold of this tank, uh, this tank node because the tank's pretty important. Tank, uh, tank, uh, the tank can turn it around. So you can see there's gonna be a steady stream of people in here trying to take that node back. I don't want to hang around here all, all through the game. I'm just gonna capture that viper I shot down. Oh, that's another thing. This uh, uh, the the uh, Scorpion's really good for. You can shoot down those Vipers pretty readily with it, but you don't want to destroy them. You want to shoot them down, kill the guy in them, and then and then jump out and use Link to capture that Viper. Uh, the Necro side has a lot of Vipers, and you want to capture as many of them as possible. And the Scorpion's really good at doing that. That's one of the main things you want to do with the Scorpion. If you're in a Scorpion, you want to you want to try to capture capture Vipers whenever you can. The game is full of stuff like that, you know, um, things that's a good idea to do, things that's a bad idea to do. Here, Blue has taken their Prime back, and I'm next to this turret, so I'm going to get in and try to, well, I was thinking about playing defense with the turret, but uh, Blue's Prime is under, is under fire, and uh, I wanted to help uh, keep that walker alive for a few more seconds. Didn't manage to do a whole lot of good with that. Now I'm back in the turret. Since the walker's gone, this turret is pretty much it. Now their prime is down, so I'm not going to waste my time. If you're in a turret like that on a defensive in a defensive position, and the node, the node, the next node down goes down to your side, then there's no point in you staying there anymore. Once in a while, I'll see a newer player. He'll stay in the, he'll stay in a turret like back at your prime for the entire game. Okay, that wasn't such a great move either. You know, if you're sitting in this turret, and like if I was in this turret and uh, Blue's Prime went down, there's no point in me being in this turret because nobody can hit the center while they've got their while their Prime is down anyway. You know, you're uh, you're depriving your team of uh, of someone who could be going forward and attacking. But then, if Blue gets their Prime back, then it's important to get somebody back in this turret as soon as possible. This is the kind of thing you have to look at. Well, it's one of them. And, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to shoot spider mines here. Kind of, kind of a pointless exercise. I don't think the Viper fire does very good against spider mines. But somebody has to shoot them. They mostly seem to be cleared out at this point. Uh, the blue note, the blue's prime note is being built at the moment, so they don't quite have it at this point. So I thought this might be a good time to make an orb run, but it wasn't actually because the nemesis is sitting down there. I'm not going to make it. Move, you know? Once again, I'm being way too eager to go forward. It's working out anyway because uh, the other team just isn't playing that well, but they are going to start pushing back here shortly. And here again, you know, just capturing a Viper. Uh, the uh, the Scorpion is sitting there behind the cliff. He's going to get this one too. There he goes. 
And it doesn't take much to heal these vipers either. So if one goes down, you can jump up there with your link gun and uh, bring it back up to full health pretty quickly. I was just giving a, giving a ride to the orb carrier there. I don't think, yeah, he might have capped there. Yeah, I think yeah, he might have. Not sure if he did or not. I have the orb. One more time. Let's see if I can make it this time. Probably not. I'm gonna pause a little bit and try to heal that tank. I don't know how far I'll get with that. The tank driver has gotten out and tried to heal the tank. Uh, he's lucky it gets stolen, but well. It was pretty weak. That Viper driver would would probably probably not have been well advised to try to steal it. There's a lucky shot. Well, wouldn't it be great if I made it this time? I guess anything's possible. They're putting up a pretty good defense back here, though. I'd be surprised. No, I don't think I'm gonna get it. There's a sniper up in that tower, and he's gonna get me. Yeah, there he goes. So there are snipers on this level. They weren't doing a whole lot against this turret earlier, but they're sit but they do like to sit up in that tower and uh, be defensive. There's one or two players that will snipe up in this central region. You don't see it too often, but they'll do it, and they can they can suppress those turrets pretty well. There we go, another viper captured. Uh -oh. There's trouble. That's what you don't want to see. Yeah, they're starting to push back a little bit now. Attack the center node. I've got the orb. I am... Had a wide range of choices there. I could have took the mana, could have took the hellbender. I'm determined I'm gonna I'm gonna cap a node somewhere in here. Tentacle retracted. Yeah, I think I got sent. Well there you go. No real challenge. There wasn't anybody defending us. Could have stayed in that turret. Oh, don't tell me we're gonna lose center again. No, not that time. Okay. This is the part of the game where I'm usually screaming something like, Pick up the orb, you morons! Pick up the damn orb! Somebody pick up the orb! Of course, I'm not picking it up, but somebody should. I mean, it's just sitting there. What really bothers me is if I have the orb and I go down, and nobody, and it sits on the ground and nobody picks it up. It'll sit on the ground right next to the enemy prime and nobody picks it up. Or sit right next to the, to a, to a node that we need to hold and nobody picks it up off the ground. That bothers me. I yell about that. I often yell, I, I'm often, I'm often yelling at the screen when I'm playing this game. I try not to do it too much because it hurts my throat. And it makes me angry. I don't like to be angry. There we go. Yeah, they're starting to push back a little bit here. They got center, and uh, their orb, their orb carrier was actually making a play for our prime, which he's not going to get this time. Sitting there over the orb, uh, waiting to suicide over it. If anybody comes after you, that's kind of a dangerous game because uh, it's, it's not unusual to get killed before you know it, before you know what happened. But if you're in a spot with good visibility, you know it's it's not a not a bad move, I mean, you just have to be careful, keep an eye out. You know, because you are depriving them of the orb for a few extra seconds. But yeah, they can turn around, they can turn that, somebody gets you by surprise, they can turn that around on you pretty quick. Yeah, there's a sniper again, he's, he's I don't approve of that at all. They've got the, they've got their, they've got their graphics turned. They've got the fog turned off on their graphics. That's just not right. Defend the center node. I understand why they're doing it. They're doing it so they can snipe from that tower all the way down, all the way Attack into center. But, the west node. but the fog is so pretty. You should turn the, every, you I should be more. required to turn the fog on. And depth of field too, yeah. Does this game have depth of field? I'm pretty sure it does. I can't imagine anybody turning it on. You have to be insane. But fog, oh god, you know, it's just so pretty. You can turn the fog off on these on this game, and if you do that, 
then on this level, for example, you can stand here and look through those look through those arches and see all the way over to the other end of the map. And with a sniper rifle, yeah, that would come in handy. But I don't do it. I just I just like to make it look pretty, you know. And I'm not much of a sniper anyway. Yeah, frankly, I do it mainly for these videos just to make the game look a little bit prettier. I'd like to find more ways to tweak this game. If anybody knows any way to tweak this thing to make the graphics look a little bit better for these videos, I'd appreciate that. I, I've got everything turned up about as high as I can. I've got, uh, I guess, uh, uh, I can make the colors a little bit more vivid, maybe. They look pretty vivid to me on the, on the, on the monitor. This capture mechanism tends to wash things out a little bit, I think. But I use filters to kind of bring it up a little bit. At this point, you know, we need to be attacking or doing something. I was just hanging around waiting for somebody to give me a ride. You know, sitting there uh, healing up vehicles, you know. Somebody get in one and give me, uh, you know, give me a, a, give me a taxi. There we go. Finally capped the crime. Great. We might, I think we get them down to two points here. Blue core is critical. Blue core is secure. Grab yep, there we go. Orb. And there's about four minutes left on the clock. The enemy prime node. Oh, if you see somebody in a vehicle uh, firing at uh, firing at something like that, you know, that obviously isn't doing damage, it's probably because he's attempting to communicate with you. In that case, uh, in that case, he's saying you should you should take the orb. That's what I was attempting to communicate. Oh come on! Oh, thought I was gonna get it that time. Damn it! Yeah, I wasn't doing well at all with the orb this guy. As this goes on, Blue is going to start to get their act together. It's a little late. I mean, there's no way. I they'd have to they'd have to take the whole map pretty quickly to win this one. But I've seen it done. It can happen. Again, being a little too eager to before. It's it's really kind of it's really it's really kind of a, a it, it takes a lot of discipline to know when to go forward because when you want to go forward, it's a good idea to go there as fast as possible. And, Conversely, when it's not a good idea to go forward, it's a good idea to turn around and run away as quickly as possible. And it's, it takes a lot of it takes a lot of fast judgment to know which which one to do. And the game doesn't really help out much because, again, you know, you're tempted to think, oh well, I'm just going to reincarnate. You know, well, yeah, you're going to reincarnate, yeah, but that's but you know, the, the objective you are going after is going to be gone. You know, possibly unless somebody else is on the ball right behind you. If everybody thinks the way you do, you'll all just die and then nothing will get done today. Oh. Yeah, see here, they're, 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 they're working on it. They're trying to take center. I, I think they're going to get it, too. So. They had me out there dueling with rockets trying to hold it. Yeah, there's pressure on center and enemy prime, and the question is, which will go down first? Defend the center node. And center went down. Oh, they've got center. They got their orb up there or something. So yeah, they're starting to get their act together at this point. They got a minute and a half left. And they're putting pressure on our prime now. I think they may actually bring it down, but no. I don't like sacrificing a scorpion, but right now it's a race between taking center down and losing our prime, so center needs to go down as quickly as possible, so suicide the scorpion and get out there with and shoot this thing as fast as whatever you got, you know. So we won that race. So we're holding them off, but they're definitely making an attempt here. They've got yeah, 50 seconds. He's taken down center again. His nemesis is about to kill everything in sight. He doesn't see me here, fortunately, so I'm going to get a couple of rockets into him. I don't think I'm going to kill him, but I think somebody's going to get him down here before he... Three seconds left. 
Yeah, blue's taking center again. And they're likely to come down here and try to put pressure on our prime immediately. This is coming down to the end though. 18 seconds. See, they're making pretty good progress here. They could do this. They're not going to, but they could. Yeah, this is pretty yeah, I don't have much chance with there, but I you know, we need to be we need to take center again. Because if they if we don't put a stop to this right now. Okay, this is where it's gonna end up. Uh, they're putting pressure on uh, Prime, center went just down again, so they lost that, but their orb carrier is down here. And just to finish this off, yeah, timed out right there. Yeah, so yeah, pretty good game. Have a good evening.